Vandiver Road was still blocked off this morning. Only a few people could venture near the site where Jeter's body was found, including this man, Frank Potts. He's the caretaker of the property who found the body. I went up the road and I looked up there and I seen something. I stepped about 15 feet up there. I seen it was a body. So I stepped back out in the road and stopped the school bus lady and told her to call the police. So she called them as there in about 15 minutes. Come this way a little bit, Susan. Within a few hours, Potts and a few Fulton County officers had company. Dozens of Atlanta police and FBI agents gathered at the site. With the aid of dogs, they conducted a massive search and did find some things that one officer said could get the investigation off first base. Included in the find were several bones only 100 yards from the body. However, the state crime lab has not said if the remains are human or animal. The discovery of Jeter's body here now lends weight to the theory that one person could be responsible for several of the murders. Within a five-mile radius of this area, five other children have been found, all black males within the ages of 7 and 15. The first two bodies, which began this very long investigation, were found only two miles away along Nissi Lake Drive back in 1979. Then the decomposed body of Milton Harvey was found several miles away from there along Red Wine Road. More than a year later, the remains of Chris Richardson and Earl Terrell would be found also along Red Wine Road. That was last month. Six bodies in all involving the cities of Atlanta, East Point, and now for the first time, Fulton County. Working in the unincorporated areas of the county, which is very rural in some areas, uh, traditionally our bodies normally wind up in such positions as thrown alongside the road. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but uh, it sort of uh, makes it easier for me because I'm used to starting there anyway. There is one significant difference between this discovery and the others. Jeter was found only wearing underwear. The other victims were fully clothed. Graham admits they've been thrown a curve this time, but still assumes that this murder is probably linked to others. Ernie Bjorkman, Action News.